Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror the card game where we're currently playing the Dunwich Legacy campaign. We are on our fifth scenario, Blood on the Altar, and our intrepid investigators are Daisy Walker and Zoe Samaras and they are hunting down the hidden chamber. They found the key and they've got an idea that the hidden chamber is in the old schoolhouse. So they're going to head in that direction. Time is running out. Doom is mounting. And uh, yes, they're going to have to get a bit of a move on. Now, uh, I don't think there were any errors last turn, at least none that have been pointed out. So what I'm going to do is just crack on. It doesn't mean there wasn't an error, it just means nobody spotted one yet. So what I'm going to do is just crack on. If there was an error, we're just going to have to live with it, I'm afraid. OK, so that means we move into episode 29 and the laugh and the chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase, and that means a doom. So we're up to four doom already. And then we get to pull encounter cards. So Zoe is our lead investigator. So she gets a card. And we get another monster. We've got a whippoorwill this time. So they have got a combat of two. They have only got a... Um, health of one and they are four to evade they are a creature they are aloof and a hunter each investigator at whippoorwill's location gains minus one willpower minus one intellect minus one combat and minus one agility it is vowed that the birds are psychopomps lying in wait for the souls of the dying hp lovecraft the dunwich horror so they're aloof so it's going to go up here so we'll just pop it there and uh, yes, that's a bit of a pain. Next up, we have Daisy. So Daisy gets an encounter card as well, and she gets Unhallowed Country. I think she's had this before. Terror, it's the one about allies, isn't it? Revelation, put Unhallowed Country into play in your threat area. You cannot play ally assets. Treat the printed text of each ally asset you controlled as if it was blank, blah, blah, blah. Forced at the end of your turn, we test willpower three if you succeed discard unhallowed country well we don't have any allies at all at the moment and we were a bit uh, anyway about uh, promoting dr christopher we don't want him kidnapped so we're uh, not too bad as far as a encounter card goes all right so that is it for the mythos phase next up it will be the investigation phase and i think we will start with zoe <laughs> And here we are with Zoe, and we're going to do it now, rather than uh, think about it. What we're going to do is we're going to spend two of our actions to get rid of Psychosis and discard it. We're going to have to do it sooner rather than later. Fighting is going to start. So, uh, first two actions, we've discarded Psychosis. And then for our final action, what we're going to do is we are going to move. So we're going to move to the village commons. So there we are. She has moved there. Right, so that is it for Zoe. And uh, that means next up is Daisy Walker. And here we are with Daisy. So she's actually going to use a normal action first. And what's she going to do? Well, she's going to play emergency cash first. So we're going to play this and we're going to gain three resources. Which will put us up to six. Out of those three we have just gained, however, we are going to use our second action to pay two of those. And what we're going to do is we are going to promote Encyclopedia. Now, the reason we're doing this it's going to cost us two. It's got a wildcard icon, item, tome. 
Exhaust Encyclopedia for an action. We can choose an investigator at our location and that investigator will get plus two to a skill of his, his or her choice until the end of the phase. Yeah, so this would be very useful if we're backing up Zoe, you know, during a fight. So that means we have to get rid of flashlight, but it's out of charges anyway, so that's fine. So we'll discard that. And that was our second action. And what should we do for our third action? I think for our third action, we should move really, I suppose. So, but we'll do the tome action first. So, while we're here. So we're gonna use tome action. The reason I didn't do the tome action first was we had eight cards anyway, so didn't see much point. I thought I may as well uh, promote a couple of cards and use one before uh, we actually had a look at the top three cards of our deck, which are Emergency Cash, Manual Dexterity, and Knife. I think we'll keep Emergency Cash. We may need to promote more cards, so we'll put manual dexterity and knife back and give this a shuffle. There we go. And so we get emergency cash that can go back here where the other one was. That's cool. And for our final action we will move so let's get up to the map and here we are at the map so that final action she is going to join zoe at or is she no she's going to go the house in... oh no better not better not you never know we may pull a monster at some point as it is we're going to get followed by the actual whippoorwill anyway Okay, so that is the end of the investigation phase. Next up, it is... Oh, I nearly thought... <laughs> I was just thinking, it just popped into my brain. Did Zoe get a, a resource because of the Whippoorwill? She didn't because it didn't engage with her. So, uh, yes, we can carry straight on to the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase. Do we have any monsters? Yes, we do. We've got a Whippoorwill. And it has the Hunter keyword. So what it's going to do is it's going to follow us. So the Whippoorwill is going to join us here. That's okay. We're not making any skill tests at the moment. Though we may have to. Oh, we will be making one. We'll be making one with Unhallowed Country. So uh, that's going to make it a bit uh, difficult, but never mind. Okay, so the Whippoorwill has moved with us. I knew there was a reason why I was thinking to take her to the house in the reeds, but uh, I've made my decision now. All right, so the Whippoorwill has followed us. That is it for the enemy phase. Next up is the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase, so I think what we shall do is we shall unexhaust cards. So old book of law is back and then it's pull cards, so Zoe gets one and she gets if it bleeds. So this is an event, costs one, it's got a willpower and a combat icon, if it bleeds, it's fast. Play after you defeat a monster enemy. Each investigator at your location heals horror equal to that enemy's horror value. It's a small comfort, but you'll take it. And the Whippoorwill has got a horror value of one. So it may be worth playing this. Perhaps we'll kill the Whippoorwill next turn. So I'll put this down here. And she gets a resource, puts her up to six. Then it's pull a card for the lovely Daisy. 
Here's Daisy. And, of course, she gets her injury because I obviously shuffled craply. Right. <laughs> internal injury. Basic weakness. Revelation. Put internal injury into play in your threat area. Forced at the end of your turn, take one direct damage. Remember, her turn has already finished. So we'll probably have to use two of these actions to get rid of it during our next round. Oh, because we've got to take one direct damage. We haven't got any allies anyway, so there we go. So that's a bit of a blow. Do that, but we do get a resource, puts us up to five. There we are. Now that'd be the end, except we've got Unhallowed Country. So we've got a Test Willpower 3, but the Whippoorwill is giving us a minus one. Normally it'd be a three versus a three. But uh, as it stands, it's uh, two versus three. Can we chuck anything at it? We can't, but perhaps Zoe can. We're at the same location. And I don't think we'll need these taunts. I do not think we will need these taunts. So let's chuck both of these. We're committing both of these. So we'll put them at a jaunty angle, like we do. And that will give her a willpower of four now. Remember, it would be five. We're taking one off because of the whipper will. So that is five versus three. We need a minus two or better. And we get a minus four. So that was a waste of time. And we do not get rid of unhallowed country. Ah, well, that's a bit of a blow. Well, never mind. Okay, so that is now the end of that particular round. So what I'll do, I'll do what I normally do. I'm going to go and upload this, see if I've made any horrendous errors, and then I'll correct, uh, then I'll correct them at the start of the next round, which will be shortly. I will see you then. And here we are at round 54. One thing I did forget was actions. So let's uh, pop those back. Won't get far without any actions. So here we go. Right, everybody's got their actions back. And now we are on to the laugh and chuckle phase for round 54. That means a doom. So we're up to five. Ugh. Grim. <laughs> and now it's pull encounter cards time. Always a delight. So an encounter card for Zoe. Eager for death. Brilliant. So this is a Whippoorwill card, isn't it? Treachery. Yeah. Eager for death. Omen. Revelation. Test willpower 2. Increase this skill test difficulty by 1 for each damage on you. If you fail, take 2 horror. She's got no damage on her. That's good. And she has a willpower of four, so it's four versus two. Right, it's four versus two. Minus two over there. We're not going to chuck anything at it. And we get a zero. Excellent. So we can just get rid of that. Well done, Zoe. And then it is an encounter card for the lovely Daisy. Ooh. On Wings of Darkness, Revelation, Test Agility 4. She's got an agility of 2, which is pants. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror. Then disengage from each non-Night Gaunt enemy, engage with you and move to a central location. Well, we haven't got a Night Gaunt enemy engaged with us. But uh, we have to move to a central location by the look of it. But we're already at the central location, aren't we? Yes, so we don't even have to move, but we still have to test, and uh, oh, we've got any agility icons we can use, I don't think we have, you know, I should have taken manual dexterity, shouldn't I, instead of emergency cash, at least I'd have made it 4x4, four four. ooh, I can't even use the encyclopedia because it's an action, and uh, it's not our turn yet. 
So there's nothing we can do, is there? Oh. So there's only an elder sign. I don't think an elder sign will help us, to be honest. And we pick an elder sign. I don't think it helps. Yeah, it's plus zero. If you succeed, draw one card for each tome you control. So that doesn't help, does it? Because we needed a plus two. And I don't think there's a plus two. So that was a bit pants. So uh, we take one damage and one horror. So uh, damage puts her down to four. And the horror takes her down to eight. Damn it. Can't say I'm very impressed with that. Okay, right, so uh, that was a load of old poo for Daisy. Okay, that is the end of the laugh and chuckle phase. Next up, it is the investigation phase, and let's have Zoe go first, as normal. Oh, that was a test, wasn't it? We failed it anyway. But, uh, yes, the Whippoorwill would have... Um, would have been... Causing us problems on both of those tests. We got a zero, didn't we? Yes. So we needed uh, a minus two or better. We got a zero. So even with the minus one, we passed that. So that's okay. And uh, we whiffed at the Night Gaunt test anyway. So uh, yes, no problem. And uh, yes, let's get straight into the investigation phase. And Zoe can go first. And here we are with Zoe. Just ignore the Whippoorwill for the moment. So what's Zoe going to do for her first action? Well, for her first action, she is going to spend three of her resources. And we're going to put the 32 Colt into play. So let's get rid of Flashlight. So 32 Colt is going into play here. That means it will get six bullets. That's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. So we've got six bullets here for the 32 Colt. For our second action, she's going to engage the Whippoorwill. I've just brought it down here early. Because she's engaging it, she gets a resource. So that puts her up to four. And that's her second action. And for a final action, she's going to try and kill it. So we're going to spend one of these as a bullet. And let's just check what we get. Spending an ammo fight, we deal plus one damage for this attack. We don't really need... In fact, we're not going to spend an ammo. Because we don't get a plus one, do we? Ugh. So we'll leave that. We may as well just try and kill it normally. So we've got a combat of four, but that's going to be a combat of three because it's the Whipper Will. So that will be three minus two. We need a minus one or better. Can Daisy help us? Does she have anything? Oh, she's got Encyclopedia, but um, she's got to use an action. It's not her go. Oh, I didn't do that very cleverly, did I? She's going to... I don't think we're going to be using Bulletproof Vest. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. But we'll spend this, so that will give her a combat icon and a wild card. So we'll use two icons there for combat. We are going to commit that on behalf of Zoe. So that will give her six combat which will go down to five because of the Whippoorwill. Five versus two, we need a minus three or better. And we get a zero. Excellent. So let's get rid of Bulletproof Vest. And, oh, I forgot to play if it bleeds. Damn it. I was going to play it, but uh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, so the Whippoorwill here. And uh, we managed to kill it. We only need to get one. So uh, we've got rid of that. 
Okay, and that was her final action. Oh, I fancy forgetting about Let It Bleed. Yeah, the reason I forgot about that was because then I suddenly decided to do a uh, bulletproof vest. Well, never mind. I'll doubtless get to use it later against something which uh, is even more horrific. So let's keep it for that. That is it for the lovely Zoe. So we can move across to Daisy Walker. And here we are with Daisy. I think what we'll do is we'll use her tome action first. So let's see what three are on the top of a deck. The Necronomicon, her weakness. <laughs> so we're definitely not going to have that. And next up is Dr. Francis Morgan. Again, we'll try to avoid using allies. So put him down there. And the other Necronomicon, the Aulus Wormius translation, we'll keep that, I think. So that is, it is an asset, isn't it? Yes, cost two, it's an asset. It's got an intellect icon. You gain plus one intellect, gain two resources for an action. It was Abdul Al Hazred's magnum opus. Now, we can't put it up at the moment unless we get rid of one of the other two. But we might do that. I'll tell you what hasn't come up. Daisy, even though we search through the deck with the um, old book of law all the time, how often do we come across a tote bag? Very, very rarely. So, put that there. These go back in. Oh, I'll tell you what I need to do as well. I need to uh, exhaust the old book of law. Won't be a second. Let's just give these a shuffle. And one of those. And a cut. There we go. And we'll exhaust that. Oh, right. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're on to our normal actions. We're going to spend two. And we're going to get rid of internal injury. So at least we've got rid of that. And we've got one action left. I suppose we'd better move. So let's get up to the map. And here we are at the map. Final action. Daisy is going to move to the schoolhouse. So we haven't really got a lot done, have we? I was hoping to have picked up that clue by now. And uh, had a look at the hidden chamber. But uh, yes, bad news. Bad news. It's really going down to the wire. All right. That is it for the investigation phase. Next up, it is the enemy phase. And here we are at the enemy phase, back to the good old enemy phases with no enemies. So we can get straight on to the upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. Let's refresh old book of law. And then we get, oh yes. Let's get our actions back. Let's not forget this time. There we go. Now it's pick up cards time. So Zoe is first. She gets overpower. Yes, could be very useful. Skill, Silas, kicking ass. Two combat icons, practice, max committed one per skill test. And if it's successful, we could draw another card. Put that down there. That should be useful later on. She gets a resource. Puts her up to five. And that is it for her. So it's a card for Daisy. Come on, something good. Scrying. So one asset. It's uh, got an intellect icon. It's a spell. Got three charges. It's an action. Exhaust scrying and spend one charge. Look at the top three cards of any investigator's deck or the encounter deck. Return them to the top of that deck in any order. There we are. And a resource. Schoolhouse, you're allowed resources. Yes, you are. So that is cool. 
Right, so she's up to six resources now. And that is it for episode 29. We didn't get a lot done, really. Um, yes, I probably should have concentrated on moving a bit more. But we were unlucky. We got a couple of weaknesses and we lost two we we lost two actions for Zoe to get rid of her weakness. And we had to lose two actions for Daisy to get rid of her weakness. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. But uh, it, uh, we could have done with a bit of better luck there. With two extra actions, I mean, we'd have probably had Zoe in the schoolhouse with us. And we would have probably found out what was the card here. It's obviously the hidden chamber, but we would have found it officially. And we'd be in a lot better shape. So, oh, oh, unhallowed country. We've got to do that. So it's three versus three. Are we going to chuck anything at it? Three versus three. Hmm. Don't think so. No, we'll just do a three versus three. So we need a zero or better. And we get... A plus one. <laughs> a bit of luck right at the end. So we get rid of unhallowed country. So so we could put Dr. Milan Christopher up. I'm wondering, we've had one kidnap card, haven't we? wonder how many's left. There's probably three of them. They're normally in threes. Okay, yes. So that is the end of episode 29. We got a couple of actions taken off us. So we're a bit behind the eight ball. The agenda is going to flip again next turn. And uh, that could cause us some problems. I think then we'll be on our last agenda. So we really need to get a move on. But at least we do have a resign card. If we can get back to the village commons, we could resign. So if things are looking bad, we will get there. At least Zoe has got a weapon. And it's got six shots. We've got a useless 45 automatic. We could do with machete coming out. So uh, perhaps we will use scrying. Yeah, that, uh, if we promote scrying, then uh, I think we can look at top three cards of any investigator's deck. So perhaps we'll do that. Probably wait until we get into the hidden chamber. Yeah, and if she hasn't got the machete by then, perhaps that'll be one of the uh, support actions that Daisy will do. Okay, thank you for watching episode 29. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the likes and the dislikes. And most of all, thank you for all the help and support. You're very kind. If you've noticed any errors as normal, please let me know and I will do my best to fix them for next turn. And uh, if you've been watching this over at Board Game Links, thank you very much. Or at BGG on the video threads there and if you've made any comments here there anywhere likes or you know comments or geek gold anything like that thank you so much that is it for episode 29 I hope you join me for episode 30 but until then this is me Cat Weasel signing off toodaloo